In this video, I'm going to give this photograph a border with a drop shadow, and that will make it look a little classier, and uh, maybe you want to print it with a border um, so you can frame it. But uh, So this is how you do it. So we've got our, you know, down in our layers panel, we've got our uh, background image, which is just uh, my little girl here. Take the lock, drag it to the trash, and then I'm going right next to the trash icon there, there's an add layer. Just click on it and it'll be an empty layer, you can see here. I want to make that layer white, so do that by pushing Command Backspace. That'll make it white, and the reason for that is Command Backspace uh, prompts the background color, and in this case the background color is white. If I wanted Option Backspace, that'll be the foreground, which in this case is black, but I want white. So then what we do, I'm gonna turn that one off, go down here to uh, this portrait, and put it into free transform. So image, and sorry, edit free transform or command T. Shift and option or shift alt. At the same time, drag in one of the corners and that will scale the photograph uh, appropriately. If I let one of them go, I can do this, but if I push shift and option, um, it'll, it'll do it uh, so it has the same dimensions or the same ratio anyways. Okay, and then let go. I'm pretty happy with that one. Push the check mark or enter. And then I'm going to select this whole photograph. Now if I push select all now, it selects the entire canvas. I don't want that. What I want is uh, what I want is just the photograph. So to do that, one of the ways, um, probably the longest way, but possibly the most accurate would be to go to view and rulers. So now we have a ruler here. Go over to the ruler and just drag in and you can see that it'll create these guidelines. They're called guidelines. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I do a selection it will lock into the guidelines. So it's exactly the size of the frame, or the size of the photograph. Click the rectangular marquee tool and go up to one of the corners and it will lock into all the sides of the photograph. So now it's a perfect selection, the exact dimensions of the photograph. You can uh, turn off the guidelines by going to View, Clear Guidelines. Now go to the layer above it. It's just the white layer. Select the white layer on. And now we have the selection on the white layer. So now what we want to do is just push Delete. And Delete will basically make a hole into uh, this top layer, which now acts as our border. So now push Command D for deselect. Make sure that you still have the uh, upper layer, the border highlighted. Go to this FX button down here, and you'll see Drop Shadow is the one, the last one. So I like to go with an angle directly above, so 90 degrees, I'll just type in 90. And just to see, just so you can see the effect, right now I'm just going to exaggerate it. So let's take the spread and the size really high. You can see now that it's adding some dimension to the uh, border and the photograph. Turn the opacity way up and you can see it there. It's almost like a vignette. It's way too strong though. You can turn the opacity down to maybe like 40. And uh, you can make the distance a little bit bigger size, spread, so that looks pretty nice, probably too much though, um, so just touch these back a little bit and then push OK and you can see that we've got our little drop shadow here, nice subtle uh, border around separating the white and, and the photograph. Alright, so that's a pretty standard traditional border, uh, let's go back and make something a little bit more interesting, so you can see uh, what's going on what you could do. So instead of this, um, instead of this just a rectangular border, let's deselect and make something else. So let's make, uh, let's make something like this. So make sure this second one is selected so it'll add to the layers. And we'll just do a bunch of really interesting little circles 
like almost like bubbles. Okay, I'll do this real quick. So you get the idea. It's a little girl, she likes bubbles. So I'll give her some bubbles. Okay. So now I have just this piece added. Let's get all the corners here. Is that all good? Almost. I think. Okay. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select this layer here first. We can push Command J. That will copy just the piece that's selected. Oh, I missed a spot right there. See what it does. Wait for it. Okay, there it goes. So we can turn that one off. You can see here now, oh, almost. Didn't quite keep it. Um, you can just start again. But you can see here that, uh, I can't even just move this over. There we go. Okay, and then we can go to our drop shadow. And you can see that uh, it makes a pretty cool effect. And actually what I would probably do is uh, crop, go here, over here to the crop tool and crop in from all the sides. So it's not so thick. So you can make some pretty interesting borders uh, just with the selections and a white uh, layer. So there you go. Let's wait for this to come up here. Yeah, so there you go.